What is going on beautiful people? I am Lee Hammock, the diagnosed self-aware narcissist known as mental illness across all social media platforms and welcome to another episode of the A, A Narcissist Explains. Today's episode is going to be about triangulation. When a narcissist targets two people and put them against each other, two or more people, it doesn't have to just be two people, you know, stay tuned, like and subscribe for more. Thank you. This right here could be a real life example of a narcissist trying to triangulate the new supply and the old supply. And if you're new here, I'm a narcissist. I have narcissistic personality disorder. So in this situation right here, you said your ex wants to have Easter together as a family, but that's the same day as his new girlfriend's birthday. How do you think that new girlfriend feels right now? She's probably looking at you as the enemy and he probably is making her, making you out to be the enemy. Hey, Margarita wants to spend uh, Easter together as a family. Sorry, it's the only time I can see the kid. I know it's your birthday, but you know, sorry about that. So this right here is a subtle way for a narcissist to make an enemy out of the new supply for you. They might hate you for absolutely no reason other than, you know, that you have a baby by this person. But the narcissist or toxic person in this situation right here is clearly, clearly, clearly doing this on purpose because you know narcissistic people don't really like to celebrate other people's birthdays. So now he has a built-in excuse, you. If y'all doing things as a family while he still has a new girlfriend, then he thinks you still belong to him and the new supply is just a placeholder. So welcome back, y'all. Triangulation, triangulation, triangulation. So that young lady actually did a one-on-one -on -one with her, uh, with her very recently. You know, and uh, she's a she's a good good woman. So if y'all couldn't read the, the text, it says, "Lee, please explain to me why my ex would want to celebrate Easter as a family, but it's his new girlfriend's birthday that day." Mm. Mm. And so she actually she actually responded. She said, I've known it was her birthday since last year because he celebrated with her after he cheated on me with her. Yikes. And now because now he he's with her. So he left the one person for this new girl. So he has a new girlfriend, but he wants to have Easter together as a family because it's his daughter's first Easter. Yeah, people are evil as hell. And I'm telling you, triangulation works this way because now he's making a new so now he's putting his 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 old supply in a position where she can have, she's, she's going to feel bad if she doesn't say yes. But she could also feel bad because it's the other girl's birthday or, or, or a lot of people seek vengeance. I know it's her birthday. I want to ruin her birthday because she, you know, she took my man or she cheated on me. She uh, was the, uh, the other woman in the situation or the other man in this situation. So yeah, there's some, pro uh, there's a possibility of some get back in that situation right there. So the, the, the normal flow of human emotions, y'all know I'm all about revenge too. Get some good revenge, some good revenge that only the person you're targeting gets hit. Not everybody else. Not no, not no, don't throw, throw a grenade in a room full of people hoping to take out one person, you know. Put them in, get them in the room by themselves and throw the grenade in there. <laughs> not a real grenade, y'all. I'm not crazy. But seriously, y'all, you see that situation goes right there. Like, that's you see how it goes. There can be a, so many different options. Like, somebody commented, it said, he's trying to get out of doing anything nice for her. Yes, because you, you hear me mention that in the TikTok. I said, look, narcissists don't like celebrating other people's birthdays. So now, he did it last year by clapping the cheeks. He maybe by cheating and clapping the cheeks. He did that last year. But this year, he's going to try to keep this old supply on the hook while simultaneously making the new supply feel like she has to work harder. And yes, y'all, women can be narcissists as well, but this situation involves a man with two women. The triangle shape is three here. So in essence, she knows, like, the original, the original poster knows it's the new girl's birthday. The man can just say, hey, yeah, it's your birthday, but, you know, she, she she's not going to let me see my daughter. It's a first Easter, whatever, blah, 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 blah. You know, so this can make, like, this is how narcissists work out. This can make the new supply feel inadequate and want to have to work harder to get this person's attention. So guess what happens in this situation? She might actually want to have a baby by this person. So next year, it'll be her first Easter that she has to celebrate, that he, he needs to celebrate with them and ignore his original, his first daughter. You see how that works right there? And now the old, so now this is also a way they did new, the, 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 the narcissistic robot resetting. Reboot complete. This is also <laughs> this is all, I'm silly, y'all. This is also a way to make enemies out of these two women. So the old supply probably already hates the new supply. That's already in. That's already in motion. It's probably already. She probably already hates her. But the new supply probably thinks she's better than the old supply. 
But this situation right here, the narcissist is trying to make it seem like, well, the oversupply, who actually, you know, the mother of my daughter, is more important to you right now. So touche, bam, gotcha. I know I left her for you, but I still have to co-parent and raise my daughter with her. So you can't say anything about it. And sometimes, and this person said, as a family, as a family, which probably means the new girl can't come, which she might want to come. Hey, I'm going to celebrate my birth your birthday later on. Who wants to celebrate your birthday after they didn't spend some family time with their with their old the old girl and the daughter as a family? Well, you're not around. You don't know what they're doing. People look look what people are willing to put up with, y'all. Look at the stuff that y'all been willing to put up, willing to put up with and deal with for so long. For what? For what? And I I told her I had a one on one with the original girl. That man ain't shit. He ain't got he ain't got much of nothing going on. But he got two women about to battle over him. For what? His heart, huh? I'm telling y'all. I'm look. I'm telling you. Yeah, look, I'm telling y'all. Y'all be battling and fighting and scratching and clawing for people that ain't shit. What do you get from these people other than you get your cheeks clapped or they throw some cheeks on you? Then what else? You don't get love. You don't get care and affection. This person ain't got no money. So what are you getting? That's how narcissistic people do. They want to make you seem. They want to appear more valuable to you than they actually are. They are narcissistic, narcissistic people are gold plated. They're not real gold, they're gold plated. They want to look like 24 karat gold, but underneath they're like a piece of copper. That's gold plated. Hey, gold plated just as good as gold. Lead. That's like, the plate is gold though, right? It's, the, it's gold plated. That means the plate is actually gold. Yeah, the plate is gold, but if you, you bite into it a little bit, you're gonna get that nasty ass copper on the bottom. You mean, and leave a green mark around your neck. So, you know, no, that's what narcissists do. You wear that, you wear that, that gold-plated narcissist around your neck, and they leave a green mark around your neck because you show you how fake they are. Oh boy! Tell me that went fire, boy. I be cut up with the. Look, I be cut up with some flame on here, don't you? And y'all, you cannot say that wasn't fire. That was fire. That was fire right there. That oh, oh, you gotta drop. Y'all gotta drop a. Uh, <laughs> you gotta drop a flame in the comment section if you made it this far. Y'all, I appreciate you made it this far. But yeah, y'all. They're gold. They're literally twenty-four karat gold-plated people. You know what I mean? They're not real. And this person wants to. They want to appear more valuable than what than what than what they really are. So if you apply any type of scrutiny to this person, you actually see them for who they actually are. You see how that goes right there, y'all. You see the simplicity of it right there. That's how it goes right there. You're dealing with these narcissists and these toxic people. Understand that this is who you're going to be dealing with. Then now she got a baby bomb, a new baby. The first Easter, uh, yeah, this you got a new baby bomb. So you got to deal with this person for the rest of her life. And yes, there's feelings going to still be involved. It's hard to cut off somebody you just had a baby with, you know. And he knows it, so he's going to be playing two people against each other. Probably try to go back to her, make them fight back and forth. Don't let narcissistic people triangulate you. Don't let them create enemies out of people you don't even know, because they will. They will 100% will create an enemy out of somebody you don't know. Yeah, you don't really know this person, but now you have enemies. In this situation, everybody's situation is going to be different, you know. But the the, the technique is kind of the same, though. The triangulation, you know, that way, if y'all are enemies, so let's say I got two women. That way, if y'all are enemies, then you won't talk about what's really going on. You won't see, you won't be able to see what I'm really doing behind the scenes because y'all arguing with each other. So that means I, ain't gonna, I, I don't have to worry about y'all partnering up. And telling them the truth about me. I don't have to worry about y'all teaming up and revealing myself. You know, trying to ruin my reputation. Because y'all hate each other. Right? Based on what? Based on me. Nothing else. Just me. You see how that works right there? Y'all hate each other based on me. Nothing else. Just based on a mutual, a mutual a, you know, trying to get me. Y'all both want me. But only one can have me. May the best supply win you know like, like the narcissist gladiator shit like the made the best supply win here's your sword over here here's your sword battle it battle battle lit out but don't talk about me while you're battling ah fight you know what are y'all doing y'all fighting over a lot of y'all be fighting over bums i'll just say that I'll leave it on that right there. A lot of y'all be fighting over bums that don't have anything going for them. But y'all, I'll be looking at be the, some of the most beautiful women, the most handsome men. Y'all be fighting over bums y'all can that y'all can easily replace. Bum fights. You know the old TV, the old YouTube channel, bum fights. Where they used to go around the corner and have bum fighting. That's what y'all doing right now. Y'all fight over that. Y'all fighting over that bum that they that they had fighting at each other. <laughs> 
So this is the, the kids make it tougher, y'all. Kids always make it tougher. They just do. They really, really do. So empower yourself, y'all. Take back your power. Take back your strength. You deserve more. But I can say that all I want to is up to you to believe it and apply it. Believing is achieving. Achieving is seeing, y'all. Anyways, let me, let me hop off this thing, y'all. Thank you so much for tuning in. Like and subscribe for more. And as always, mental illness is out. Peace.